take my children for ice cream whenever I get a chance. Whenever I get a chance. Because I never got a chance when I was a kid to eat ice creams. One night I was taking my children for ice cream. When the sight struck my eyes, one woman is sitting in front of the building next to the ice cream shop along with two children. With one hand, she is cooking. With the other, she is feeding one of the children. She is also taking care of the other child, a girl who is busy doing her homework. Madam Contest Master, all the sons and daughters sitting here, especially to those mothers or one day would be mothers. I was pondering over this sight when I was driving back. An ordinary sight. But I was thinking about my own mother, the way how she used to take care of me when I was a child. I do not remember the day when she painfully let me out to this world after bearing me for nine months. How many times she fed me with her own milk to quench my hunger, my first food. How many times she cradled me or sung lullabies to take me to sleep. I would be falling down or be lying sick and would be crying. All I needed to become all right was a warm hug from my mother. I was a very naughty kid when I was growing up. I used to play pranks on my elder brother and my younger sister, <coughs> and I used to make them responsible for it. But sometimes my plans would go awry, and my father would be coming with that fearsome stick. I would then run behind my mother, take a rage behind her. And those hefty blows from my father would land on her instead of me. My mother used to work as a teacher in a government school to add to the meager income of her father. She used to wake up early in the morning and cook breakfast for all of us. Then she would cook lunch and pack for all of us. Then she would be running to catch her bus to travel 60 kilometers up and down. And she would be forgetting to eat her breakfast for supper. Later in the evening, three of us would be sitting in a line waiting for her to come back with an empty stomach. I vividly remember my mother happiness in her face when she would be coming back to see us. Both her hands would be full, would be full with bags, with provisions, vegetables, groceries and snacks for the next day. Without even waiting for a few minutes, she will get into the kitchen again and start, start cooking. And sometimes, we would refuse to eat those food because she did not cook our favorite dishes because she is sick. She would still get up from the bed and start cooking those favorite dishes for us. I did not get admission to the fifth grade to the school where to the choice of my parents because I came last in the whole city. First time darkness hit in my life. But my mother came to me a few days afterwards. Don't mind, worry my dear son, you will still go to the school under the protection of your brother. I did not observe that one bangle is less in her hand. She did that again when my father could not put me in the engineering college hostel. She sold her bangle again, the, the last one, to put me to the engineering college hostel. For a lady of the 1980s, you know how much valuable a gold bangle is. But for my mother, her son's future was even more valuable. Later, I found a girl whom I thought would be the would be mother to my would be children. But my father had other ideas. My mother coaxed and convinced me to change the situation. For all that she has done to me, how much gratitude I should have shown to her. 
I am what I am because of her. But the fact is, I did not even show the gratitude to her even once. Not even once. And I did not realize my mistake until that cold, misty morning in October 2012 when her lifeless body was being taken to be cremated. Not even a single day will go by ever since when I would not be thinking about her. After my life was again full of darkness, her, the thoughts about her would continue to light my, my life. Fellow sons and daughters, if you have not expressed the gratitude towards the people who have made a difference in your life when you are growing up, please do that today. Because you who do not know what life has got in store for each one of us. Let me sing these two lines for my mother. Prasun Joshi's lyrics and Shankar as her voice music, which means I may not say that I am fearful of darkness, my mother. I may not look so, but the fact is, I really.